Alright guys, uh, as much as it pains me to say this, this is my final recording of Ashura's Wrath. Uh, this is going to be part 12. This is just, this is just the bonus DLC. Uh, the ones with Street Fighters, Ryu, and Akuma. Again, it's sad to see it go. This is one of my all-time favorite games in general. Be it any system, PS3, 360, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Sega Saturn even. This is definitely one of my favorite games, so it's quite sad to see it go. Here we go, we're going to go ahead and do both episodes, or both Lost Episodes 1 and 2. So the first one's going to be, at last, someone angrier than me. Let's begin this. Uh, oh, this right here is just to do uh, missions. Uh, you'll see once the first half begins what it's talking about. But as you can see, I did them all. The hardest one to me personally was get a perfect KO. Definitely hard. It was, took a lot of uh, trial and errors, a lot of uh, a lot of just memorization. But I finally got it. So uh, here we go. We're gonna just go ahead and do no missions. You know, nothing to hold me back. I'm just gonna go ahead and start this episode. And uh, so that everybody knows as well, on the 360, Asher's Wrath is eight dollars on live on the demand. I'm supposed, I'm guessing, it's uh, it's gonna be eight dollars. And of course, you will have to get the DLC though, for you know to get the true ending. But that's like five dollars, so you might be looking to spend anywhere below twenty dollars. <laughs> Definitely worth doing, especially for anything lower than twenty dollars. Yeah. I like how they did this too. Um, if you don't, if you're not aware of anything, uh, in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, they had something called Pandora's Box, or I think it's Pandora, where at the end of Ryu's storyline, he actually got transported somewhere. So I guess it's just like a, a little joke that they made, that they made, where Ryu got transport transported to Ashura's world. So Ryu says, "Now where could this be, Ashura?" Hmm. -hmm. Well. It wouldn't be the first time I've been sent off to some strange land. And uh, who the hell are you? I'm Ryu. Who's asking? Ashura. Ashura, is it? Well, how about it? Care for a match? Huh? You look like a worthy opponent. You have no idea. The question is, are you? Well. We just have to find out, won't we? The Eternal Challenger Ryu. Alright, as you can see, now it looks like the Street Fighter 2 version. You know how they, uh. Oh, it's got smacked. How the 2D thing, I can't run around, so it's just. This. So the game plays exactly like the other one, or like anything else. Except it's in the vein of Street Fighter 4, which is really cool. Uh oh, I messed up because you got me with the focus. This right. I messed that up too. <laughs> I messed up. Oh well. I thought this was a, I thought this was actually oh crap. No I fail. I actually thought this was really ingenious thing, you know, to combine two of Capcom's uh two of Capcom's games and put them into one. I thought it was really awesome. I mean if you didn't even know any better, if you were just looking at this, you would think this is actually Super Street Fighter. Or just Street Fighter 4 in general. Alright, let's get this round going. Oh. Good, try that again. Oh, trying to catch me in the intense Rocky? Oh no. Jeez. Alright, now I'm sucking. Hold on. Alright, let's get him. 
And obviously if you notice in the bottom left hand corner, the burst limit, or the burst gauge I should say. Oh god no. It's working just like you know the game normally would, just in a Street Fighter 4 sense. Jesus, let go of me. Got him. Let's do it again. Just for uh just for old time's sakes. Alright, so this is gonna be it. Ooh, that was close. Shoryuken! However, Shoryuken all the way to the moon, as you can see. Or well, I should say, uh, Shoryu Rapper, I think. Yeah, because Ken is Shoryu Rapper, and since he's covered in fire, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that Asher did his version of a Shoryu Rapper. And I messed up the landing, but whatever. Point is, they are now on the moon. Uh-oh. The Satsui no Hado. halfway mark and ladies actually I forgot ladies watch this too and if you look right there there's August's sword right there and there's still the crevice that he made or the landing thing he did or whatever but now we have evil Ryu here <laughs> Alright, now this is more like it. This is back to Asher's wrath. He's like, I can't do any energy blasts because he just knocks them away. So it looks like I have to get up close and personal to even you. One, two, three. There we go. Six hit combo, I'm sure. Let's do that again, shall we? Actually, you know what? That would constitute as more than a six hit combo. Maybe like a maybe a ten hit combo? Could be could be more, could be less. I'm going with more. Oh snap. Can't get away from him. Alright, there we go. And he still caught me. Jeez, get away from me, Ryu. No, I'm not even gonna hit Y this time. Let's see if this guy is a worthy challenge. And looks like he's gonna prove that he is. Nope, stop that. What? Come here. Alright, let's stop that. Obviously, he knows. Now this is gonna hurt, gentlemen and ladies. Close your eyes. Ooh. Look at the pain in Ryu's face. Come on, that's not all you got, Ryu. I know you got more than that. Oh wait, nope, nope. Jesus. This could be bad. I ran right into that. <laughs> Look at the tongue on uh, Ashura. Ooh. Ow. Well, that can't be good, can it? 
Look at that, he knocked the ground back into its right place. Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen again, shall we? I'm actually running low on health. Let's stop you there, Ryu. One more time before I initiate the burst. Alright, let's get him. Oh no, he got me. I uh completely messed that up. Ha! <laughs> That's the first time I think I've ever lost in Ashra's Wrath. Alright, let's try it again. This time let's not mess around. Seems like Ryu is definitely a worthy challenge. Hmm. Yeah, that's crazy though. That's the first time I think I've ever seen a game over screen in Asha's Island. Well, people, you now know that it is possible to get a game over. No, not this time. Yeah, he got me again. Alright, well, just enjoy the uh, very flashy... I guess you can call it a special move. Alright, no more messing around again, obviously. This is what happened last time I decided to mess around. Alright, now this time I'm not really going to mess up, so if you hear my buttons being jammed really hard, that just means I'm doing something right. There we go. I was not trying to mess that one up. And yet somehow that standoff between Ashura and Ryu knocked the Satsuino Hado out of him. Must have took a lot of energy, I guess. But hey. You're pretty good. You're not so bad yourself. Aw oh, man, that was... I don't know what that one said, but anyway, let's have another go. We just end up losing. And at the same time, with perfect synchronization? What? <laughs> what do we have here? Your skills show promise. I know I'm a terrible voice actor, but I figured why not give it a shot, add some kind of entertainment to this video. But who could it be, I wonder, that could have so much dark power? Hmm, it's only one person I know in Street Fighter history. 
But it's not M. Bison. Alright, there we go. That's the end of it. We now know that it's Akuma, master of the Satsui no Hado. If you thought that fight with Ryu was good, wait until you see the fight with Akuma. Now, we're not even going to watch this whole thing. I'm just going to skip it, I think. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and skip that. No point in looking. And I got a D on my time score, but whatever. It's not that important. Again, I don't really care. But uh, alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to Lost Episode 2. I think I have to go back to the main menu though for this. Alright. Oh no, I don't. Well, more or less. Alright, so there we go. We did that. Now we're going to go to uh, Lost Episode 2. The strongest versus the angriest. So uh, let's see how this turns out for Ashura. And again, we're just going to go ahead and skip this out. Uh, the hardest one obviously was get a perfect KO. Was it? Yeah, let me see, because win 10, that was easy enough. No, this one was hard, because this one, I believe, whatever damage you took stayed with you. So if you got really beat up in the first round, you had to go through nine of the other rounds, just like that. Or something like that, I forgot how that worked, but I remember that one being a pain. That was the last one I needed for my last achievement. Thankfully, I got it and maxed this game out. Let me take a little bit of a drink of water. Ah, this is going to be our last episode. Uh, right now I'm at 16 minutes. About to, about to hit 17. However, if I didn't get to that game over screen, I might have uh, been a little shorter. Anyway, here we go again. <laughs> what do we have here? Your skill is your promise. Deja vu anyone, by the way? Oh, poor Ryu. Just getting, like, attacked immediately. Now, do you see that? He hit him so hard, he transported him back to his own dimension. I'm assuming that's what just happened. Either way, he's not in this universe anymore. Alright. Showtime. Though, I don't know how Akuma got here. I never did his, uh, Has the ring. Oh, excuse me, I never did his, um, story mode in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, so I'm not really sure of his story, but I'm sure it, hopefully it connects somehow. But anyway, back to my terrible voice acting. You have a spirit that thirsts for battle. Your name. Ashura. Uh, Satisfy my hunger for power, God of Wrath. Do not call me a god. That sounds a lot like Kratos. Either way, like I said, I'm not good at voice acting. So hey, it's something, right? Alright, here we go. And again, just like the first uh, episode, we're back to the Street Fighter part of the game. Oh, turn off, stop it. Oh my god, Akuma. Stop messing with me. Alright, you know what? Here. Sonic Boom! I mean, wow, Sonic Boom? Why do I always say that? Flash Kick. Either way. Jeez, Sonic Boom, really? Sounded cool though. But yeah, that's a that's a flash kick already. It's definitely a flash kick. Uh oh nope, that's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Get away. 
Oh no, this isn't good. I messed that up. Alright, gave him the uppercut of vengeance. Gonna give up? Well, of course not. Let's do this again, guys. No, not that time. Ah, he's still hitting. You know, I wish they would have gave Asher like some kind of like you know focus attack thing. It'd be nice. Come on, hit. Come on. All right, forget it. I'm coming to you then. And again. I messed it up. I'm trying to back up, hit him with that. There we go. Oh no! It'll be over soon, guys. Just one more hit, I think. Jesus, let go of me. And got him. Before he can even finish that uh, attack. Ah, but it's not enough to stop Akuma. Uh oh, now of course you know Akuma's pissed. That blue light should be familiar to anybody who actually plays Street Fighter. <laughs> Only, of course. Like, this wasn't gonna be a hard enough battle as it is. But there we go, we are at the halfway mark of Ashura's Wrath Lost episode. Let's see how uh, Ashura deals with Akuma. Or, I should say, Oni. I think Ryu actually fixed the problem I was on the moon, and now Asher just messed it up again. Alright, let's do this. If Akuma's gonna go full out, or all out, I should say. Ah, why shouldn't Asher? Alright, here we go. Back to the way Asher's Wrath plays. And he's sending me like giant Hadoukens or whatever. Oh, I messed that up. That was like a cannon shot. Oh, uh oh, kind of. Move. Man, is that all you got on me? Oh, of course you're gonna run away. Okay, what's this? Forgot, can I hit that? Yes, I can. There we go. That was actually a finishing move, or an ultimate move, that Oni has in the new Street Fighter game. But it was used against him. Oh no, I messed that up. Boom. Who else goes? Oh, I'm supposed to be quicker than that. Much, much quicker. Hopefully he does that again so I can uh, show you what happens if I actually successfully do it. 
Oh no, I didn't mean that. There we go. That wasn't that cool. That was awesome. Uh oh, this isn't good. Check it out, this is awesome, isn't it? Oh snap, I almost messed that up. Alright, come here, Oni. I'm not done with you yet. Or I might be done with you. Oh no, darn it. I don't know why I did that. Alright, it's time to finish this. Just gonna hit him one last time with this before I do burst and finish this battle. Alright, and there we go. So let's make sure he's not gonna disappear anywhere. Let's go after him. Just dragging him across the surface of the moon. No big deal in the life of Asha. That they broke the they broke the moon. They broke the moon. Such an uh, such a great fight. It really is such a great fight. This game was just full of great awesome boss battles. So the battle started on the moon and now it falls back down to earth. Or Gaia. Boom. Trade him blow for blow, jeez.
Now here's the curious thing. 500 years later, it makes me wonder, well obviously this is like a side arc because Ashura obviously did not have time to fight Akuma and then deal with Chakra Vartan in between this time. So it just makes me wonder, just were they just fighting forever and then turn to stone because they lost energy? Hmm, it's definitely quite odd. I mean, we know we know Ashra turned to stone once before, after he finished dealing with like that giant uh, cobra serpent thing. But that's because he used up too much energy. But here it must be the same thing between both of them. Oh man, they're moving. I wonder what happens. End it? Should I end it? We're gonna end it. And now it says to be continued. So here's my thing with that. Not only did it extend that fight 500 years into the future or past or whatever, how you want to look at it. Not only did it do that, but at the very end it says to be continued. Was this just a joke that Capcom did say, haha, to be continued? Use your imagination to figure out how it all ends. Or was it a hint to further DLC? Maybe a side story somewhere? I don't know. Uh, I actually have no idea. I mean, the game's been out since 2012. Here we are now, 2014. So about two years. Yeah, the game's been out for two years now, I want to say. Probably two plus, two plus maybe one or two months. I forgot exactly when Ashra's Wrath came out. But I know it was early 2012. But we're going to go ahead and skip that and see that I got an S rank. Yeah. But yeah, that's my point. Is uh. But well, we're done here now. We're actually done. But I just want to know, you know, is DLC going to be uh, an option? Maybe a, a secret, like, you know, project they're working on that's going to have Asher doing battle with Street Fighter characters and maybe other characters from Capcom's franchises. I don't know. That seems a little far-fetched, but again, it's Capcom. But anyway, not to hold up anything with these uh, videos. This was the last video for Asher's Wrath. Uh... My last play for this series is done. So, again, if you missed any episodes, you can easily find it on our website, spider.net. You can also go to our Facebook account, Twitter, YouTube, all by the same name, Spider Duck Network or Spider Duck Net, however you prefer. You can find us. I'll just Google whatever. If you want to get on a more personal level, you can easily follow me on my Twitter, at uh, the man who games zero there we could talk about games maybe play some games you know i got a whole bunch of consoles ps3 360 if you want to do some gaming uh you want to talk about games whatever uh but the next game on my let's play list is going to be dmc the reboot so you can look forward to that this coming weekend and um i hope you guys have a good night i hope your week has started right no problems a little bit of gaming hopefully but uh just make sure to keep having a good day guys and I'll keep gaming strong, gamers. Have a good night.